Folks, this is Will Rutherford of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, also Thought4Riot.com, and we are here with Dave English at the Black Sheep Puppet Festival. Say hello to the folks. Hello, folks. I'm Dave English here at the Black Sheep Puppet Festival. Excellent. Now, uh, tell us tell us about the festival. What's, what's uh, going on here today? Well, the festival itself runs, this is in its, its 10th year, and it runs from October 10th to October 26th. It has a litany of workshops, shows, um, things for children, things for adults. Yeah. It's, a, it's a big mix. Tonight, specifically, is the 24-hour public reality experiment, where they take, uh, what is it, 12 people, break them into three teams, and these people back here are on my team, and we kind of heisted this mezzanine area, and this is where all of our materials are. We're provided with these materials, the space, the tools, and some, you know, some gentle steering in the production of uh, a puppet show, our original, brand new puppet show that we have to build by tomorrow evening at this same time and be ready to perform in front of a live audience here at the Brew House. Excellent. Now, if uh, if you'd be so good as to walk us through the, the mezzanine and show sure. off uh, show off some of your gimmicks here. Sure. No, this is <laughs> my gimmicks. These are <clears throat> this is basically just stuff that people have donated. Some from me, my, most from other people. Um, my buddy's wife uh, donated these blue combat boots. I think those are pretty cool. Those are sexy, aren't they? <laughs> I, mean, I call them Smurf yeah. kickers. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to use the Smurf, Smurf pickers though because I donated them and that's kind of cheating. I'm going to try and make it work with just stuff that I've seen for the first time. Um, so, this is the raw material. Okay. Starting about here, you get into more construction materials. Your strings, your paint, um, your coffee too. Um, you look up to use a lot of Oh, yeah. Found object stuff because public chairs are usually poor. So uh, it's wicked. It's partly, uh, it's partly, you know, it's just, it's cheaper, uh, it's recycling, it's green, it's all that. It's great, but we're poor, so we have to use this stuff. We can't go by the chairs, most of us. Uh, fabric station, sewing machine, iron. And each, they see. It seems to me like they, uh, like they broke the teams up according to areas of expertise or your focus. Uh, like I'm kind of a builder guy. She's a more of a fabric type of sewing girl. Um, she's a jack of all trades, crafter, and the girl with the glasses is a storyteller, scripting sort of guru. That's her deal. I met them all tonight for the first time too. Huh. This is Allie. Get the next down the line. We're we'll going to introduce some stuff. I'm, uh, I'm Carrie. Excellent. What do you uh, said your expertise was? Uh, she's a jack of all oh, trades. Yeah, I just sort of do a little bit of everything. I don't know who else wants to do that. When they intro earlier, they, they said she was a, a rocker as well. Excellent. Back in the day. Back in the day. This is Joe. Right? Yeah. Okay. Joe goes to school. Chatham. Are you roommates with Allie? Yeah. Okay. So, maybe you holding the notepad in the story arc you do, you can tell them what our criteria are. Each team has to follow certain criteria, but there are three elements that they must incorporate into their puppet shows. And they are. Well, number one, there's got to be a bed. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be a literal bed. It can be a bed of flowers. That's the example I use. It doesn't have to be like a bed. And you also have to have an invisible person. Or some on the stage and then goes invisible. And then the last thing is you have to have the phrase, this is exactly what my mother told me never to do. <laughs> Very cool. Well, folks, we're going to let these fine people get to work, and uh, we're going to float around them like ghosts and get in their way. So uh, look for a few <laughs> more updates from us. Thanks.